for the first time since 1968, the Ohio Bobcats are 5-0. and That's the good news. The not so good news, the Cats were taken down to the wire tonight in Foxborough by the winless UMass Minutemen, 37-34, your final tonight from Gillette Stadium. Seemingly the perfect place for the Cats to escape with a very, very close shave. Last week against Norfolk State, Ohio came out guns blazing, but tonight it was all Minutemen early and often after forcing an Ohio three and out. Redshirt freshman quarterback Mike Wegson engineered a 12-play, 82-yard drive that culminated in a 27-yard touchdown pass to receiver Allen Williams. It was Wegson's first career TD pass and UMass's first ever lead in their young history as an FBS program. On Ohio's second offensive possession, things started to gel a little better. Tyler Tettleton was back under center this week. He completed three passes on the second drive, and Bo Blankenship showing early signs of possibly having a very big night. The two Oklahomans led the Bobcats down the field, but the drive stalled, and Ohio would settle for three points off of the leg of Matt Weller from 27 yards out. UMass would match Ohio's field goal with a 30-yarder off the leg of true freshman kicker Blake Lucas, and after the first quarter, a surprising score, UMass 10, Bobcats 3. Wegs in a very impressive 7 of 13 for 93 yards and a touchdown after one quarter of play. Meanwhile, Bo Blankenship for Ohio already netting 51 yards, and he would not slow down throughout the remainder of this game, not by a long shot. In the second quarter, the Cats began to rally back behind Tettleton and Blankenship, and of course, the kicker Matt Weller. Weller hit another field goal from 24 yards out to cut the lead to four. And then after forcing a UMass punt, it was time once again to give Bo Blankenship the rock, and boy did he deliver. 72 yards on the next drive. The drive culminated with a one-yard touchdown pass from Tyler Tettleton to Troy Hill. Eight plays for 79 yards, and all but seven of those yards came on the ground through Bo Blankenship. But just when Ohio was feeling comfortable, Mike Wegson and the Minutemen struck right back and they did it in a hurry. From second and 11 on the 50 yard line, Wegson hooks up with Allen Williams finding a seam in the Ohio defense, 50 yards to pay dirt. And at this point, you got the impression that the Minutemen would not be shying away from the Bobcats. They take a 17 to 13 lead. But the final points of the half would be scored by the Cats. One player who made a name for himself over the spring workouts was Chase Cotron. He catches a bomb from Tyler Tettleton, 41 yards. Great concentration on the catch by Cotron for his first career touchdown. And the Cats take a 20 to 17 lead. And that's a lead that they took into the half. Tettleton already accumulating 159 yards passing and two touchdowns in the first half. And Bo Blankenship 148 yards rushing on already 24 carries. That number would only go up. The shootout continued in the third quarter this time. Mike Wegson hooking up with another receiver who would have a huge third quarter, Deon Walker. A 26-yard pass again gave UMass the lead. That drive took four minutes and six seconds and accumulated 81 yards. And boy, did Walker have a quarter of his career. Seven receptions for 103 yards and a touchdown. The Bobcats secondary just could not contain the UMass passing game. The Cats forced the only turnover of the game, and it seemed like things were looking up. Corey Hastings forced a fumble from Michael Cox and cornerback Lorenzo Fisher jumped on it, but the Cats were stalled on the UMass 16, and Matt Weller's third field goal attempt of the game was blocked by Antoine Tharp. The Minutemen would then extend their lead to seven, driving the ball down to the Ohio six before Blake Lucas kicked yet another field goal from 23 yards out with 3.15 remaining in the third quarter. The better half of the 8,321 fans in attendance anticipating UMass's first win as an FBS program, but if we've learned anything, this Ohio team shows up in the fourth quarter. They've done it all season long. They did it again at Gillette Stadium. On Ohio's first drive of the fourth quarter, Blankenship punched in a five-yard touchdown run. Extra point good. We had a brand new ball game at 27s. The Bobcats took the lead off a 26-yard field goal from Matt Weller. The Ohio defense certainly came to play in the fourth quarter as well, along with the offense. They forced yet another UMass punt, and then the Bobcats would add some insurance on the ensuing drive. Bo Blankenship, who else? Found the seam 40 yards to pay dirt, gave the Cats some insurance at that point, 37 to 27. But you guessed that the Minutemen were not down and out just yet. They answered right back as Wegson found Williams for the third time on the day from 11 yards out to cut the lead to three. The Minutemen would then force the Bobcats to punt from their own 30, but the Ohio secondary chose the most important part of the game to step up and make big plays on UMass's last drive, which started with under a minute to play. 
Wegzen completed just one of six passes. That's not going to get it done. The last pass was broken up by Mose Denton, and the Bobcats escaped Gillette Stadium with the win. The player of the game for Ohio, it was a no-brainer. Bo Blankenship was certainly the workhorse. 43 carries, 269 yards, and a pair of touchdowns. An average of 6.3 a carry. And Tyler Tettleton, well, if he was hurt, it didn't necessarily show. 15 of 27 for 229 yards and two touchdowns. Both of these players after the game, of course, quick to credit the offensive line for their successes. It was a total team effort for Ohio's offense on the night. So now the Cats will breathe a deep sigh of relief and take the charter flight back to Athens. Well, they will prepare to avenge last season's loss against the visiting University of Buffalo Bulls and try to keep that unbeaten streak alive. That's all I have tonight from Foxborough, Massachusetts and Gillette Stadium. But before I go, make sure you follow us on Twitter at Bobcat Showcase and check us out on the web at woub.org slash showcase. Saying goodnight from Foxborough, I'm Pacquiesa. We'll see you back in Athens.